Hi people, welcome to Blue K Jazz Dance, Dancing the Spirit of Jazz, Lead Self, Lead Others, Lead Organisations, uh, Training. As part of my legacy of leadership, I learned to lead myself through storytelling, through dance preservation, being in the dance industry, being in dance and health, being part of dance the uh, leadership, dance and health leadership, dance industry leadership, dance preservation leadership, storytelling leadership led to me leading self, leading others and leading organisations. And I initiated that. That's one of the key things I want to share with individuals. Dancing leadership, dancing the spirit of jazz was created by a, 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 a wide range of people who self-taught themselves to lead and they ended up leading others and leading organisations is one of the key things. And it's different for every leader who, who did that. That's most important. I come from a collective of individuals from my parents to my brothers to my sister, my niece, my son, to peers who danced in the spirit of jazz, danced in the spirit of jazz's values. Uh, you'll hear me over and over again say that what happened is every generation has rediscovered jazz for their generation. And it, it always leads to the same thing. What does jazz do when you think about it? First of all, it requires, it shapes people's attitudes to be free-spirited. It shapes people's attitude to be progressive and forward thinking. That's what it does. Progressive learners and forward thinking. That's what jazz left one of its one of its um, legacies. What jazz left was to seek to be bigger, better, and bolder. Don't allow people to repress you or oppress you, and that you can overcome. You can learn to cope, manage, and overcome struggles of oppression to become successful in expressing oneself that's what jazz has shown us it's shown us that people who are more liberated people who are more freer are more acceptable to be more caring and sharing and daring in the society that we have jazz showed us about leadership and how leadership can stem from the slums yeah people can lead stem from the slums people went on from the slums to perform to dignify their art form among kings and queens the legacy of dancing spirit of jazz is, is huge and what happens is it has so many pathways that it can be taken. Dancing the spirit of jazz socially, physically, intellectually, culturally, emotionally, spiritually, politically, economically, technologically, environment, legally. What does the jazz era <coughs> signify to us? It signifies what it was it what reflections, what it talks about modernism. Yeah, is one of the key things, the the, the development of modernism. The, the rise of women, suffragettes, women's rights, women getting the rights that they had from the 1800s before that the women were slaves. And it's important for people to understand in the 1800s when modernism came about, what happened was the development of jazz music and dance and certain dances developed for women to have more liberated opportunities and more free opportunities for them to, them to educate themselves and do what they're doing. <clears throat> it's important. That's one of the elements that came out of jazz. Historically, what jazz has done for women, um, rights, and is incredible. It's important for people to study. So what happens most importantly, that dancing spirit of jazz, leading self, leading self <coughs> came from the jazz musicians, the tap dancers doing what they were doing. But not only tap dancers, not only the musicians, writers. Jazz influenced writing of that period, literature. It influenced different types of philosophies. Influenced different types of psychologies. And what happened, this is all around the world. And musicians travelled around the world. Think about a, sm a smaller people's music became a bigger people's music. And it led to leading self in a different way. It led to leading others in a different way. It led to leading organisations in a different way. Jazz is studied by all types of organisations. Jazz leadership is studied by all types of organisations and has influenced and inspired. So jazz itself, the jazz culture, inspired and influenced leaders of the day, influenced kings and queens of the day. Because it brought something that was important. It shared something that was important. It's important to celebrate oneself. It's important to dignify oneself. Be your nation, be a person, be a community, be an organisation or just be yourself. Because that's what the jazz musicians did. They dignified their art form to the world. An art form that was identified as inferior. So what happened was people who were seen as inferior 
drew upon the art form and said, well, this is what this art form has shown us. It's shown us a map of what you need to do to when you, your people have been debased and demeaned, you have to put in structures or infrastructure to um, put in projects that are going to raise the prestige, the status of who you are. The United States artists had to leave their countries. And all over the world, what happened, the Caribbean, for example, jazz musicians left their countries. Brazilian musicians left their countries and went to a place where they could raise the prestige of the art form. That's one of the key things that's happened. So UK jazz dance, for example, so some of the leaders, they left Britain or they left their cities and went to other cities where they could raise their prestige. Then they left the country and went to places where their art form would receive and they were well received, where they got a healthy environment for what they wanted to do. So many musicians, many dancers went to Europe from the UK and they went into Japan, do you understand? <clears throat> where they got a better reception for what they wanted to do. That's our history. And that's all incorporated into leading self. Leading self, you become self-aware about, wow, you know what? I need my art form to be respected. So remember how many British pop stars left Britain and went to America. And they went to America, why? Because they would get a better reception and they would get more, receive more wealth for their knowledge and experience and the skills for the cultural life they're going to bring to that country. It's important for people to understand. That's what jazz set about as a practice for artists. Dancers, Josephine Baker, because of the racism she was receiving, she left and went to France. Buddy Bradley left America and came to Britain. Juba, Master Juba, left America 1848-52 and came to Britain for a better opportunity. Who had done that before that was... The black Jacobins fought for the British in Americas for their freedom. Blue K jazz that's out.